In this video, we are going to demonstrate how to install the XPC internet adapter into the Aquasol XPC. So the first step in installing the internet adapter is to unplug power to the Aquasol XPC. And once power is removed from the controller, you're going to want to remove this bottom access panel. Uh, we've already loosened and actually removed one of these screws. And once you remove that access panel, be very careful not to lose these screws. Uh, also, please be sure that you don't lose or get this gasket bunched up. This gasket is very important for sealing up the electronics. Uh, the next step is you're going to remove the four screws in the four corners that hold the faceplate onto the Aquasol XPC. And once you've lifted up the front cover of the controller, you can disconnect this ribbon cable from the back of the controller and you can also disconnect these coaxial cables right here. These are your probe connectors, ORP and PH, and set the front faceplate aside. Once you're into the controller, you will see that you have four standoffs uh, that are already on the main circuit board of the controller. And that's where we're going to install the XPC internet adapter uh, is onto those standoffs. So place the adapter with the ethernet port facing left onto the standoffs. Now the next thing to do is to actually remove this Molex adapter from the internet adapter and you also remove the same connector, terminal block connector, from the XPC. And you'll notice if you look very closely at the internet adapter and at the terminal block, you'll notice that it has corresponding numbers on both terminal blocks. So it's really just a matter of connecting up the jumper wires between these two terminal blocks. Each XPC internet adapter does come with four uh, wires that are pre-terminated. Uh, the colors on these wires do not matter. Putting 13 in that side and then 14. And then we do the exact opposite on the terminal block connector from the internet adapter. Uh, and just make sure that it's facing upwards and that it will actually slide in. Uh, it only goes in one way, so just make sure it's going the right way. All right, and so now we can plug, actually before we plug these back in, it's easier if we take the four screws that came with the internet adapter and we actually screw the internet adapter into the standoffs. You have to be very careful with them. Uh, you don't want to drop them into the XPC, so kind of guide them with your finger because they will not magnetically stick to the screwdriver. So now the internet adapter is secured into the controller. We're going to reinstall the controller terminal block facing the right direction. It'll only go one direction. And we're going to do the exact same thing with the terminal block for the internet adapter. And it is now physically installed. So we'll put the controller back together and to do that, we're first going to connect up the appropriate probe coaxial cables. And you'll see that they're labeled very clearly and they just snap into place. And then we're going to reattach the ribbon cable. It also only goes one way. And now we'll plug the controller back in. And you can tell that the internet adapter is installed because it immediately gets power as the controller receives power. You can tell that by the red light. The internet adapter has three buttons and four LEDs. Uh, it has more than that, but those are the four that we'll look at. And they're all labeled right here. You've got one button or switch that's labeled update. You've got one that's labeled reset. And you've got one that is labeled AP for access point. 
And these are all momentary switches, meaning you press them and they automatically spring back to their original position. As far as the LED lights, we have the power light that tells us when the unit is powered on. We have the USR1 light or user one that is used to signal different parameters. We have the heartbeat, which anytime the firmware is loaded up in the unit, you should see that heartbeat pulsating like a normal heartbeat. And then we have the Wi-Fi light. Uh, that Wi-Fi light will flash blue whenever it's connected up to Wi-Fi. So this board has been connected up to Wi-Fi before, and when we plugged it in, it automatically connected back up to the last access point that it had been powered up to. So that's why that's flashing. So that's it for this video. This is the physical installation uh, of the actual XPC internet adapter circuit board. Uh, obviously, remember to put the screws, all four of the screws, back in the faceplate of the controller. Make sure that gasket around it is still in good shape. And the same thing with the access panel. Uh, make sure that when you're done installing that that access panel is screwed back on with both screws and an intact gasket. Thanks for watching, guys. In the next video, we will address uh, how to actually program uh, the internet adapter or configure the internet adapter to connect to the internet.